Hello. Uh, what? What is that? Is that a little edge in the corner that I see right there? What? Yeah, it says uh, that. Is that Ange? I see a tiny Ange. Hmm. If I am to be the world's greatest detective, I will have to figure out why that tiny Ange has appeared here. All I do is win. That is not correct. I can destroy everything, but I'm not. But I can. You just watch out, little Ange. I won't tolerate any kind of destruction. I won't tolerate any kind of destroying of everything. This is not what we do here at Aristotle Full Throttle. Oh, comments. Up. Oh, now she has been obscured by the comments. We just wait until people arrive. We hang out. We cover tiny anges with... with comments. I, Batman, have not been drinking, I promise. Little Ange. Ange, if I take a swig from my... If I take a swig from my flask down here, do you think they'll see me? What? I said, do you think they'll see me? I can destroy everything, but I'm not. But I can. Ah! Well, Ange, I see that you have, uh, you've tried to fool me, but I can't be fooled. I'm the world's greatest detective, and, uh, this, this intro is sponsored by, yep, oh, what is it sponsored by? What did you tell us all? Freeze! How did you get in here? Uh, you left the cave open. It's just a cave, you know? It's just uh, like an open cave. There's a gigantic opening to the cave. Why are you in disbelief? Why is your mouth hanging open? It seems like uh, it was pretty easy and I was walking here, there, there's this cave here, there's just the cave here, and then it seems like the frame rate is really dropping right now, so let's go to the main feed. Okay. Sounds like a good idea. These... Let me just... Just... Oh! Batman! Batman! Whoa! Batman disappeared. Uh, he disappeared out of nowhere. Oh, everything is super fr freezy. It's freezy McBreezy up in here. Let me quit some of these things. I'm gonna quit you. I'm gonna quit you. Oh, I can't quit you. Uh-oh. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Why don't we try this? And then why don't we try this? Ah! We did it! <laughs> All right, hello, welcome back to the Aristotle Full Throttle Show. And if it's not a technical issue, it's not an Aristotle Full Throttle episode. Thank you for joining me. It's so much fun to be here with you. And uh, every day, five days a week, Monday through Friday, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, where we like to hang out, have a coffee, and talk about pop culture and, and goofy things, and maybe play some games later. Maybe you'll see me playing some Fortnite later. Maybe, if you're unlucky. How's your day going, guys? I'm about to start Jackbox any moment now. I'm not going to, without any further delay, probably in about five minutes. No delay, but in five minutes, we'll start. But there will be no delay. Let's, let's see who's out there. Let's uh, text my friend to see who wants to play Jackbox today. Here on Aristotle Full Throttle, it's always a good, fun game. What we're playing for let me remind you, is a crown, a beautiful sparkly crown. A digital crown that no one else can wear except for our favorite, John Stamos Def. Let's go to the, let's go to the videotape. Look, there goes John Stamos Def. Let me turn on my camera again. I don't know how to, to do this. <laughs> There's John Stamos Def, you can see him. If I do this, there. He's across the way. He's right over there, John Stamos Def. Because it's, see, you combine the two names, John Stamos and Mos Def, and what you get is like a, uh, 
A law of transaction. What we are learning today is modus tollens. What we're going to teach the kids today is about modus tollens. Let's go to the clean feed. And in the meantime, while I'm asking everybody if they want to play Jackbox, I will see, I'll play people's intros. Here's Angie's intro. Hey, baby. I can destroy everything. But I'm not. What? But I can, baby. Shut up and give us your money. That's a fun one. That's one for the ages. That one was a tribute to Ange, one of our favorite viewers. She was also in the Batcave earlier. If you noticed, she was in, over in the corner. Let me just see if people want to play Jackbox. Oh, I forgot to turn. Hey, if you want to join the Discord and chat with me directly, you can just subscribe on Twitch. Just go ahead and subscribe for $3 a month. You don't get any advertisements. You just get pure entertainment and access to the Discord where we can chat directly with you on the air. Just as long as you keep it PG-13. You know, that's good. I'm trying to keep it bright. Sometimes I look like I'm in the shadows, like I'm in the League of Shadows. But I'm not. I just went to public school. What else is going on, guys? It's Wednesday. What do you do on Wednesdays? What we do here is we play Jackbox, which is a super fun game where, uh, you know, there's uh, stakes. You get me make jokes, and we laugh hard, and we vote for the jokes, and you can be in the audience if you don't want to be a player. But I'll wait. In the meantime, I'll play you a ditty on the guitar. This one I wrote in the future. I didn't write the song yet. There's no lyrics at all yet. But it goes like this. And I don't know what happens next. Maybe we'll do this. Because that's usually what they do in songs. Thank you. Also, they go like this. I was watching this thing on this band called Live earlier. I don't know if you remember the band called Live, but uh, the singer for Live is a guy by the name of Ed Kowalczyk, which is a... That's a name. And uh, this guy, he said... To his bandmates, he said, hey, I don't think that I'm getting compensated fairly. I'm the lead singer. I should get a lead singer fee. Meaning that he would like to get paid to be the lead singer of a band. I wish I could get like a fro fee. Imagine that. They said, hey, we need to rent your fro. Well, how much... Remember this one? Uh. I forget how that song goes. It goes something like that. It's a weird beat. It's gets by Queensryche. By everybody's favorite household family band name, Queens, right? It's got a weird beat that they misses. Let me listen to it with my ear holes, both of them. You know, it's funny, I have very tiny ears, but I love music. I don't know how that worked out. I don't know who, if somebody was planning that, they sure goofed. Uh, they were just making a joke. They said, hey, why don't we give this guy's tiny ears, but make him love music? That's a, uh, yes. All right, let's see here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn songs for you right here on Aristotle Full Throttle because, you know, it's a fun time. It's an hour a day that I've committed to, and I will do things. I will do things. Uh, and today, I wanted to talk to you about Jesus. Not today, actually. I want to talk to you about Queen's Reich. Silent Lucidity, which was a weird breakthrough rock song during the hair metal time, right 
before grunge rock where it was this weird song that was all over the radio for no good reason. Listen, I'm learning ear training. You can't hear that, can you? No. I'm learning a song. I have to concentrate on it. like that. But let me figure out the pattern now. This is how we play music, kids. Hello, Lisa. I'd like to say something to you, Lisa. Um. You gotta tear me apart, Lisa! Thank you. I'm listening to... Oh yeah, it changes the chord there. We're not gonna go that far. Why would we go that far? Let me turn my, my chair up. I turned my chair up. I was down, I looked short. I'm not a short man, I'm, I'm a tall one. Remember that one for the kids? That was a hit. That was a hit for your grandma. Welcome to Aristotle Full Throttle. This is where we play songs for you, and we talk about stuff, and we play rock and roll music, and we also hang out and talk to you every day, five days a week, Monday through Friday. Who wants to play Jackbox? Anybody out there want to play Jackbox? Jen? Jen. 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 I want to thing. see the butthole cut. <laughs> Give us the butthole. Okay. That's uh, something that Jen said. If you missed it. I want to thing. see the butthole cut. <laughs> Give us the butthole. There's no context to that. It's completely out of context. And then it goes like this. Told me, show me where the bridge is. Let's find the bridge. That's a song called The Bridge. Uh, it's by your grandmother's favorite band, Led Zeppelin. And now, I'll eat a protein bar so I can stay alive. 
Just consider me a Tamagotchi. Oh, hell no. Nah. What's up, dog? Well, now that I'm eating, why don't we play? Why don't we play the game? Let's see if we can play a game. I think it's time for Jackbox. Jack in the box. Jack's, Jack's box. Snack box. Let's go. I pushed the button. I pushed the button. I'm over there now. Watch this. I could do this. HDMI. Uh, no. And then I go like that again. One more time again. Yeah, there we go. See that? Did you see that? Now, I, <coughs> I shall press this button. And then we shall see what happens. Because last time we did this, we had all sorts of fun stuff happen. Unintentional. Disrespectful. Unbelievable. Silly. Ridiculous. Ridiculous things have happened. So we're going to play some Silly Jackbox. It's always fun. We've always got a good crowd here. Usually. Uh, you know, the sun's out later. People are out. They're doing things. They've got lives and things. I've got my shoes all right by the door so I can leave at any time. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to go grocery shopping. You guys can stay here. Watch some Jackbox. Jackbox is a fun game. I like to play it every Wednesday here at Aristotle Full Throttle. You know, I play it by myself, but it's more fun with others. So let's start a game. That's the thing I found. I can't, I'm not good at gaming by myself. I need to game with other people and make jokes while I get a, a game. So go to jackbox.tv on your internet computers and then press the buttons on that you see corresponding to the letters and also to the words. Create words that express your thoughts perfectly. All right, Quiplash 3. Might be a game of one. It might just be me and Schmitty. We'll see. Oh yeah, I can hear the music. Let's turn that music up. Turn those machines back on. That's loud. Almost as loud as my voice. I think that's better. My voice is substantially louder now. Because I could see by the words. I mean by the numbers. Incredible tools for humanity. Numbers and words. If we didn't have those, we would just be like... We would just be like, uh, what's that fish, the ugly fish? Hey, Lisa's here. Oh, I should go, I should play too. Monkfish. We would just be monkfish. What's that ugly fish with the big nose? The blobfish. Look at, there's me. I'm the banana. to see if I can play the song. Anybody who wants to join can just enter that code. Just enter that code and you can join. Or if you just want to be in the audience, you could enter that code and just be in the audience. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Good. Excited to play by yourself? Pretty much. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Just kidding. I'm going to see how just many people... I scared them all with my you scared... skills. No one wants to play. Yeah, well, Jed, you are the champion. Also, is this Will is the champion? So it's hard to it's it's hard to beat the quips. It's hard to be quippier than Jen, the fierce. <laughs> <coughs> I almost choked on 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 this protein bar that I was eating. Did you eat anything fun today? Did I eat anything fun today? Uh... Yeah, it's a real question I have. <laughs> I'm curious. Uh, nothing particularly fun, just food. Oh. Uh... We yeah, have this just food. Home Chef thing that sends us our meals, and we just have to throw them in the oven. Oh, that's have, cool. Like, Mexican meatballs, with, like onions and peppers. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Mexico, very good food from Mexico. Have you uh, yeah. like? What's your uh, favorite Mexican food? I've been food? to favorite Mexican food. I don't know all of it. Tacos, quesadillas. You like chili I've been to Nicaragua before, so I like the food there. That was really good. Yeah. Yeah, Nicaragua. 
they're pretty good with food. I've never had like I don't think a particularly Nicaraguan type of food actually. It was like, just the normal rice and beans and stuff. But it was the place I stayed was on like a fruit plantation, like a, like a house had all these like fruit trees, like a fruit farm, I guess. So there's mangoes and lemons and limes and. They would like squeeze their own juice. It was really nice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. That's actually yeah. I want to have Brad Pitt say that. And remember, there we go. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> All right, round one. You ready, Jim? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, my favorite thing about when newscasters are talking about problems in like Central and South America, they'll be like, mm -hmm. "There was civil unrest today in Nicaragua." <laughs> they like say it yeah. perfectly. Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Yeah. In Guatemala. They had problems today. <laughs> the president of Guatemala. Mexico. In the Mexico. It's my favorite thing when people say Spanish words the correct way. All right. If you. Oh, sorry. I can't read this all out. If you guys have your own. Let's give us any one. Um. Pink may want to change their name after this one. Banned phrase on Twitch. Uh, Yelling it. Is it because it's S I M P? Wait, what was the phrase? I missed it. <laughs> oh, what you talking about? Oh, Ricky, uh, Ricky, Ricky. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna. I speak now in your sound bites. Oh, no, Ricky, 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 Ricky. What are you talking about? <laughs> New camera. Yes, there's, 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 this is my. Uh, Oh, Ricky, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Ricky! Hey, Ricky! I've switched to the webcam because I use the same uh, video card or whatever they call it. Oh, I gotta do this. Hold on. TikTok, uh, time's almost up. I don't I think that's the word. Yes. Uh, okay. Ah, interesting. That's an interesting term. With that, because it's it's like a it's weird. Terms are funny to me. That people like ban, like that word, just means I don't know what it means. It doesn't apply to my life, and it doesn't apply to my thinking. So it's weird that some people uh, think it's an offensive word. Or, uh, yeah. I don't know. There's certain words out there that people use as insults where you're like, that could just be someone's own, like, I don't know. Like, people think things are insults sometimes because it's different than their life. <laughs> if that makes any sense. They could be like, ugh, you New Yorker. And it's like, okay. <laughs> I'm from New York. To you, that's an insult. To me, that's a matter of point of pride. Um. Oh, I missed it. Thank you for saying that. Uh, Next one up. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if that's if you're being a Poe. You guys know what a Poe is? Poe is somebody who is so far gone that they could be real, they could be fake. Uh, I can't read today too well. What's going on out there? Let's see if Jen can retain dominance. All right, people, it's voting time. Oh, you're using your Nintendo. I understand. Well, thank you, Lisa. For letting us know. Through your answer. Yeah, this angle is just for the webcam with my real camera. It's right about there. Jen! Perfect streak. So far. Let's see. Just for that round, though. Oh, let's see.
Nazi. Um. Who is Lisa? Do I know Lisa? Or is Lisa... It's funny because I have an ex who's not named Lisa, but when we'd go to yoga, that's what they would call her. And we just laughed about it for a year. Because they'd be like, good job, Lisa. And we just look at each other and laugh. Because her name's not Lisa. You're almost out of time. Don't forget your safety quips. I feel like every time I would go to yoga, I feel like the instructors... Listen, I sound like a Californian. I get it. Every time I go to yoga... That sounds like the most California thing I could say right now. But every time I go to yoga... It's really not about, do you go to yoga here? It's which Finally, yoga do you go to? Action. That's the question. When I go, they want to say my name aloud. They want to say my name, the instructor. I say this to people if I go to yoga with them. I'm like, the instructor, whoever it is, is going to say my name two times. Because cause instructors like to go, Aristotle, great job. Because they like to say my whole name. Check this out. When I'm in yoga. And it's embarrassing. Decisions, decisions. Choose your favorite. I forgot to answer that last one. Well, Lisa, you're not just a random person. You matter. Thank you. For randomly showing up. Okay, what's next? We do this every Wednesday. We play Jackbox and Jen wins at it. And that's how we play. Because <laughs> I see there's so much poop. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep it going. I promise not to tell anybody, but seriously, what would you kill for? Oh, your brain broke. Sorry about your brain. If your brain broke, you're insane in the membrane. We may. Jen, are we playing on your feet tonight? Guys, I went and looked at TVs today. Jen is still in the lead, Jen. I'm coming for you. Watch out. Uh, here's a funny thing. I looked at TVs today. I looked at lots of TVs today, and now I know which TV I might want to get. I told the guy, I was like, I want a big, stupid TV. This is literally what I said. I said, I would like a gigantic, like a stupidly large television. And then he said, okay, I can help you. But, you know, they can't play, you know, and I'm being ridiculous. I'm like, I would like, I'm, I'm good. He's like, what about this 65? I'm like, no, I'm talking 75. Go big or go home. And he's like, yeah, okay, I get it. Um, There. Greatest answer in the history of Jackbox. That is so fetch. Yeah, I agree. 
Let's My face no looks threats. too pale in this light. I need to... The only three things that can bring true happiness. Ooh. <laughs> your favorite whip. Sorry. What other phrases did they ban? Ban. One of those things that got taken over as an insult, so now it's no good for anyone. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird, because what about The Simpsons? That's a show. Did they ban The Simpsons? Um, I heard us that phrases and songs. That just means, if I have this correctly, the word S-I-M-P, I'm not going to try to say it, I'm not going to try to get banned, but that word means somebody who is like devoted, it's a male devoted to a female partner to the point where they are, quote, subservient, I suppose. Is this what this term means? Because oh. there are people... <laughs> hmm? Sorry, I was distracted, and that's what I come back to? Are you talking about this? Yes. Yes. Uh -oh. Interesting. How did it come up? Big Was surprise. Jen, you were the winner. <laughs> All I do is win, 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 no oh. matter what. I didn't mean to say Ricky, but also. What? Also. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Well, that's weird. Jen's the winner. Listen, I'm saying. Like the earwax crumbles. The earwax <laughs> crumbles are crumbles. delicious. <laughs> That's, you know, um, you always want a good earwax crumble donut. I was saying. How did it there's come a, up? Sorry. I well, there's a the term. Somebody's, somebody's screen name, Ricky points out, yeah, yeah. is a banned word on oh. Twitch. So, yeah. I guess this is a way to get around it. But I, I'm not going to say the word for some reason. I don't know why I can't say it. Like, But if you watch The Simpsons, like you it, know. But, yeah. The term, though, is, is supposed to be pejorative or insulting in the fact that, in the sense that they say... It, there's a man who's subservient to a female partner, right? Is this right? I don't know what that means. So I've heard it mostly in relation to female gamers. That's why it irritates me because they'll say that the guy is just, you don't want me to say it, right? They're just that ing for the girl. And so it doesn't oh. matter if she's not actually good at video games or she's not actually a good person, nothing to do with them. Right. They're just, they're just, it's like an insult. Be like, well, all your followers are just those. Ah. Um, Interesting. So you're manipulating the men into following you, and they'll just do whatever you want and follow you, and that's how you get your views and your followers. It's a way of I, I don't like it because I feel like it's a way of discrediting females. Right. Like you could say it is. everyone's just following um, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, and oh, they're just a bunch of those. Right. So but it's like, a way to dismiss so it's women. So counting the followers of a of female yeah. creators to me that's, is how that, I take it. I see what you're and saying. I, I don't I don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> that is me. not. <laughs> that is definitely not how we do here. That is a, an insult. This people's being there. It's their. I imagine it's mostly men who say that, and I imagine it's their masculinity that is being threatened in that moment, which is, yeah. you know, yep. sorry. I've heard a lot from sorry, whining bro. boys. Who, which, yeah. I don't know. I'm probably gonna get myself in trouble. But I've heard it from a lot of whiny boys who are like, well, I would have more viewers if they weren't being stolen by the females and their something viewers. And it's like that's that's a great way to not take also, responsibility. <laughs> exactly and also it's free people are free to follow people for any reason so like that's if that's why they follow them yeah it's a niche niche that they have exactly like it's it's also everyone has a yeah and they would think like, it's a way of devaluing too and being like oh well because people like you because you're beautiful then you are discredited somehow like that's theirs too but there's plenty of men who do that with their hands and faces so I just it makes me angry <laughs> it's very one-sided and it's another way of like discrediting females and the work that they do you know absolutely I, I agree with that I think also that people think that especially if if a woman wants to um, so how do you think you did let's see present herself in any way and that's a way that gets her attention online for instance and that's the niche that she has like to me I'm like you are insulting like to me it's it's just a uh you're discrediting um 
and it's devaluing. It's dehumanizing. Yeah. Like, yeah, because even if that's completely true, that's fine. That's what's wrong with that. They have that exactly. freedom to do what they want with their body and their um, curate the kind of audience that they want. You know exactly. And it's so, it really yeah. It does speak to the way that women are treated in society too. It's like because mm -hmm. a woman decides to express herself in the way that she chooses, then it's not of value <laughs> to people, which yeah. is. And that like the different way, because if it was a bunch of girls following a guy just because they think that he's attractive, they'd just be like fan girls. Right. You know, like oh, I have a lot of fan girls. I have a lot of fans. I have a lot of girls who fan after me. And they the way stand. that it's worded differently, yeah. And then, then because it's they're they're. The male getting attention, it's not as, like, dirty. Right. Know? That is true. It is, again, yeah, like, saying that it's okay for a guy, but it's not okay for a girl. Or a that's man, so not okay for a woman. This is how so much And that's of the other thing, too. It's so works. angering to me. So angering. Because that's why, for the longest time, I was like, I would love to be a video gamer online, but it feels like there's only two options of, like, at the same time, you're pigeoned into that. Like, if you're a video gamer, why aren't you hot? You know? So it's like, okay... <laughs> What do you right. want from me? <laughs> like, right. there's only space for either being a hot gamer or don't be a gamer at all. You're just like, a, you know, get yeah. out of here. But then if they get lots of views, then they're using their body for attention. It's just like, a, it's, a, it's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. It really is, though. <laughs> it is. It's a catch-22. So I just have 22. to, like, decide uh, I don't care and I'm ignoring it. it doesn't yeah. to me. I'm just a human. I'm going to ignore it. If, I'm not going to yeah. participate in it. And the people who are into what you do will be there for it. And it's like, mm -hmm. people don't have to insult other people, period. Yeah. I just think if you don't like it, go somewhere else. That's really the, the point of the moment. Uh -oh. and that, mm, yeah. Uh, this was a good one. Okay. Um, yeah, it's interesting, and uh, your perspective is valued and interesting because I think that there are so many people out there that are just make excuses for themselves, saying like, oh, well, those people have what I want, and only because X, Y, Z. Instead of, hey, maybe I should look at myself and reevaluate what I'm doing mm -hmm. to, uh, and how I can be more creative or form a niche or I could work harder at something. They want to tear down other people. And I think that women in general get a huge, uh, Oh, these are these are good. Lisa. <laughs> Do you know who Lisa is? I heard you making a joke about your, an ex. She's not your ex, right? Do you know um, who is this, Lisa? You gotta tear me apart, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Lisa. Right there. Lisa says <laughs> they are a, a, a rando, which I appreciate. Oh, look, it's Wesley. Uh, I, I know Wesley's Wesley. like he's glad I didn't we didn't make a bet this time. I feel like this, the last one still stands. Well, Wesley, <laughs> we're, we're gonna start with this, Wesley. Yeah, this next the round after this we're gonna play with all new players so everybody can rejoin or new players can also join in. So we hope to have all. Hey, OCW five thousand, what's going on over there? Greetings. Can you hear me? Okay. I can hear you perfectly. It's it how sounds my as levels? if how my levels. Your levels are nice. <laughs> I, I would not touch your levels. I would say. Retain the level of your levels right now. <laughs> what are you? Right, what are you, you guys, up to? Did you guys start a game already? 
we're we're, the, we're amidst a game, Thanks but for, it's uh, yeah, you know, distracted. It's, it's a very distracted game. There are relatively few <laughs> players, so it'll be over <laughs> relatively soon. So you can join the next one. I'd be happy uh, to. I would love that. I can hear the chat box in the background. Hey, you know what? Are you able to in any way share your screen in the yes. Discord, or, or do I, is the only way to do it watching on the uh, feed, like delayed? No, I will do it. I will see if it'll mess up with what's going on with uh, uh, with my streaming. Yeah, so I don't know if it takes a lot of GPU or CPU or whatever, but we'll see. We'll see what's going on here. Uh, it's uh, it's messing with my youths. Yeah, we'll try this. I uh, will try, uh, maybe not 1080, I'll go 720 on this, and I'll go 30 frames per second, and we'll see what happens there. Can you see what I'm looking at? Can you see what I'm seeing? I can, I can, it's beautiful. There you go. My so god, many... it's full of stars! Yes. <laughs> oh, we gotta answer these three questions. <laughs> Thank sure, you, I'm Dave. Interesting. I can also see your <laughs> audio uh, setup. Yes, so you can see your levels uh, relative to mine. Yeah. Levels. We're all about I'm those Discord. levels. I'm Discord. I'm not. You didn't. I'm not, I'm not crown. <laughs> Sorry. That's because the levels. Uh, I gotta answer these three. Hold on for 38 seconds. It's beautiful. Cannot deny. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. Tick-tock, time's almost up. Okay. All right. I was very uh, ensconced in, in answering done? those questions. Yes, you can see my whole setup here. The three steps to having see a all my different scenes and stuff? Session. There's so many things. Like if I click this here. Uh -oh. I've seen some eyeballs and locks. Yeah, so I could go to John Stamos' stuff and make him appear and disappear. Ooh. <laughs> Three things you'd change about Superman oh, this is a good one. Ollie, I looked at t television sets today. Gigantic, stupidly large television sets. Oh, yeah. And I was at, I was at uh, Best Buy, and I said to the guy, I would like a gigantic, stupidly large television. He's like, okay, I can help you. <laughs> and then he's like, we have the 65 inch. And I said, no, like 75 inch. Let's go big or go home. <laughs> and he's like, okay. And he took me around to show me the big TV. So I have a better idea of what I want to fill this gigantic space above my computer. Yeah, that was the big wall. I mean, you, you really, you made a, a big, uh, a big decision there. Make, make it freed up a lot of space. I have a lot of space now. I'm, I'm really trying to try to fill the space, it. you know. Well, except for this <laughs> use... Really explore the space. Explore the space. That's it. <laughs> oh, look at that! Look at that. That's 11d1. I got 11d1, guys. Nice. <laughs> it's Cosmo it's McBuds. me and you, Jen. All right, let's start. Hey, what's up, Cosmo McBuds? We're going to start a brand new game, but um. Lisa with the warm milk answer. That was really good. Becky with the good hair. Also very good. <laughs> there was no Becky with the good hair. I was kidding. All right. Let's go back and start again. Let's start again. We'll start a whole new round right now. We'll play some Quiplash. It's going to be fun. I promise you. I can't make the promise that you'll have fun. But hey, it's always fun for me. Let's press play. Ollie, what'd you do today? Oh, you oh. know, this and that. This and that, and all of these kinds got, of things. I gotta, I gotta, got to put the round there and the here and the places. I gotta think of a stupid name. Hold on a second. Uh, Jen. Mm, yes. So, Definitely. you had a, you had a, a Nicaraguan lunch. You said, or dinner? Was it dinner? <laughs> yep, that's definitely what I said. This is Nicaragua. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Nicaragua. Did you have agua with your Nicaraguan food? Agua? I did. Yep. Agua. No, what I said was that I had a Mexican meatball meal, and that that's at, when I... I was in high school, I went to Nicaragua. It's unrelated, oh. but yeah, you can that's... mash them together if you want. 
this I is like what it. I walk away with. See, see how my brain works? You said <laughs> I had Mexican yeah, meatballs. And I was like, how was your visit to Nicaragua? <laughs> good. Great time. I just reached out to my friend Greg Benson again today because we have not been. Oh, good. So good. I was like, hey, Greg, I've been bad at being friends with with people this year. I've been trying to maintain friendships, and I'm glad that I've been able to maintain, maintain my friendships with you guys, Ollie and, and Jen, and all the, you know, the people that uh, I found worthwhile and hang, like, I find you guys, I enjoy you guys, and I enjoy, I don't like to be around people where you're like, ah, uh, do I have to be around this person? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I think there's like so many... Fun. There's you so follow many the situ- vibe, man. You follow yeah. the vibe very well. You're good. You've got a good vibe dar. <laughs> I'm trying to eat I've the vibe dar. I've never heard dars. it said that way, but I like it. Tr- <laughs> you got a good I'm vibe dar. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. It's also, the experts tell it's me it's a pyramid. Vibe dar. Vibe dar. <laughs> Brought to you by vibe dar. Hey, Ollie, we came up with this day on the day. Vibe dar energy. <laughs> we were thinking maybe you could make this shirt. I was thinking that anyway. Or I could have a stand where I have a sign that says, ask me about my consulting business. Consult me about my consulting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> might be fun. Might be, might be a fun shirt. I guess that was everybody, right? <laughs> We're starting there anyway. So. Cosmo only Cosmo? I'm Schmitty, right. and I'll take the shaking of your fists as a this sign guy. that you want to start the game. This guy over here, Schmitty. This is round one. We might play, uh, so Jen, on your stream, we're gonna, are we playing? Mm-hmm. Yes, we're playing yeah, Fortnite. Yeah, I'm playing Fortnite. Custom yeah. games, some capture the flag, some prop hunt. Basically, hide and seek. Oh. It's really fun. Ollie, you wanna play? I mean, I'm not enjoying, I'm not inviting yeah. Ollie to your stream. Oh, Ollie you can, can do definitely it. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, so I wanted to, I was gonna tell you, I was gonna tell you about my day, but I, let me write the answer down first. Yes, oh yes. Straight. Yes, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I would that. like to know about your day. What did you, so what did you, this and that, and all of these kinds of things? Well, let me finish my answers, dude. I, I can't do two things at once. Do five things at once, then. Try that. Okay, that's a better idea. I'm gonna pentatask. Um, or quintatask, which would it be? Hmm. hmm. Put mine in. Is Cosmo playing? Who's playing? All Spark. Okay, so uh, one thing that we did do today, Elliot, Elliot got his hair cut. Oh, uh, he's got long, he he had had long like hair. 14 inch hair. Yeah, he had like Fabio oh hair. And he got a cut and he's donating it for like wigs for charity, oh, whatever the thing's called. Things, yeah. Box of Love. I don't know if it's that one, but it's oh, one of those. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. It is. No, it's awesome. He's gonna, his, he's got, I mean, his hair is like beautiful, luscious, thick hair, so it's gonna make yeah. a good wig for someone. It's really, really nice. That's so sweet. So that is cool. And he's pretty psyched about it, because that kind of thing, like, he was really, his hair was tied to his identity, and he was, like, serious about it, so he took it really well. Yeah, because that's what I imagine if you're, you, you know, you got that long hair, and you cut it all off. Has he, has he got, like, a short a little man's haircut, like a little man. He looks like a little businessman. Or like, um, I mean, he looks yeah, like he a looks man. Like, he looks like a, looks like hair, a regular, like regular seven-year-old, seven-year-old dude now. Um, yeah, I love to say, you know, not that he did before, but yeah, no. Yeah. So, so part of it is the re- part of it is the reward was they got to play uh, some video. He got to play video games. It's like uh, like a in case it was going to be traumatic, like soften the blow, but it actually was fine. <laughs> right. Um, and so Augie played some when he was out, and then he played some when he got back. I got RBI baseball, so he, he loved the next baseball, which is awesome for me. Um, yeah. Uh, nice one, Crocs. And they it made, is. they made, he and Augie made themselves in the game. So oh. they, they were actually like, Augie, Augie in the game was pitching to Elliot batting in the game. <laughs> mm. That's awesome. Decisions, decisions. That's really cool. I like baseball. I actually cool. like baseball video games is that the is yeah. that uh it's the one for right. switch it's fine it's not great yeah. it's fine there was one that i used to play it was like mlb 2004 or something and every time you hit a home run it would play uh get 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 over it by 
<laughs> by uh, okay. is that okay go okay go yeah <laughs> so i heard them many many times just playing that game yeah and i was oh, like oh that's the funny thing about this game so baseball gets a rap of like not being at like being for old old white men basically good one jeff just old people in general <laughs> but um But, uh, what was I gonna say? Thank you for lurking, Cosmo. You, you, didn't, you didn't pick dry, you picked dry hitting as a baby crying because you don't understand the pure anxiety of hearing your baby cry. <laughs> that is true. I mean, actually- I'm just trying to know about audience. He doesn't know about the- No, no, it's fine. This is not, it's not a criticism, it's an observation. Baby crying is Here. the worst sound ever. It is, it is like, it is a, just like a, it's like an equivalent of adrenaline Painful. shot, but of cortisol. Yeah. Well, he, well I would like to say that I, I don't know that as an adult, but as a young child, I was definitely part, I'm eight years older than my sister, and I was definitely yes. part of the village that it takes to raise a human. And I remember that very distinctly. I, rem I remember the crying and the poopy diapers and all of the things, and I was like, which was funny because I, I remember a couple of years ago, someone also was like, you don't know. And I'm like, listen, I don't. I do not understand what it is to parent, but I have been privy to the challenges. <laughs> I have seen. I've seen oh, some no, things. dude, dude. Yeah. You know, and it, first of all, it's not a, not a criticism of your ability to tend no, to small children or your lack of empathy. It, it, this is something, honestly, like I wouldn't have understood no, until no. I was here. But it, it is like there's a yeah. physical, like main line of stress that is now yes. like a pathway that is built that was not there before. That is like, meant... instantly activated by certain things. It's, it's yeah. bizarre. It didn't make sense. Before. Like seeing violence against kids on TV is an instant no go for me. Whereas before, I was like, right. oh, it's art. Or whatever. But yeah. Again, it's not like it's not a better or worse thing. It's just like a oh, that's different. Yes. Yeah. No. I <coughs> I am not making any um, claims that I do know. I'm just saying that I I it's don't like not know. PTSD <laughs> after you've that's been what... to war and yeah. you hear like fireworks. You know. Yeah. Yes. It's similar but... to that. I bet. <laughs> It's like when my child is playing and laughing, but it sounds like a cry, and my heart stops. I'm like, oh. Oh, no. Kinda That's like true. That. I know what you mean, Jeff. Yeah. I'm not, I by no means trying to gang up on you here, man. Oh, not, I don't You're feel gang up. Hey, Ollie. Uh-oh, I you forgot to answer to my, like, my questions <laughs> during the thing. I moved not the thing out fear. Uh-oh, I have See, no questions. This is all a diversion me. tactic to win the Thank game. Thank you so much. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, Ollie, you might be doing that thing where you're you're thinking too much thing. about how my reaction. Because <laughs> I, yeah. Oh man, like, come on, I was a good answer. Yeah. Guided meditation. Who doesn't want to have guided meditation with Guy Fieri? Come on. That sounds like fun. It sounds like a lot of screaming would happen. God, darn it! I wish I could have answered. That round, but maybe we will play one more after this. <laughs> much more concerned about the kublash. Why yeah. am I winning? Who's winning? Yeah, exactly. I winning it. I won't get any votes this round. Pick your favorite. Hey, Ezeko, welcome. This is sometimes a difficult game to like play while having a conversation. It is. Oh, sure. It really is. It like requires a different type of your brain than like a Fortnite or like a stick fight or something, which is more yeah. like slow or whatever, fast part of your brain instead of slow brain. Yeah, like just punching and and shooting and stuff. Like oh, I gotta get the sound effect. Your body's most work. Exactly. I was just thinking knives and stabbing weapons because I have this one. Now I have a machine gun. And, and, and you know, games have weapons. Yeah, these, are, these are pretty close, actually. <laughs> these, the mind is in the same place for you, which is the important thing. Yeah. One of them, one of them is, I guess, kid friendlier than the other. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Emoji friendlier. <laughs> That was the first thing that came to my mind. What would be the worst yeah. thing Grandma could have on dude? Yeah, I want to see the bubble cut. <laughs> Give us the bubble. <laughs> yeah, I could go with that one. That is... Look at Jen <laughs> just dominating this game. I got zero that round. I deserve it. I deserve zero. Uh, round three, but I'm going to make a comeback. You watch. I will get 100 million points. 11 to 1. Here we go. Just listen to your heart. That's what I do. Lucky. <laughs> Are the directions different every time? Oh uh, no. It's, it's like three rounds and they're the same. I mean, the actual like, instructions, what if they vary it a lot to make it seem like authentic? Mm. The same way they vary like uh, the audio play-by-play -play up in a, a video baseball game, but you can tell like there's a certain amount of like varieties. Uh, all right, 
I got an idea here. Yeah, this is the... I have to figure out how to talk and type. Can't do it. Can't do it. Too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Too... My favorite part about that that Bill O'Reilly bit where he's like, we'll do it live. We'll do it live. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite part about that is that he just melts down. He's just like, ah, oh, what? I can't do it. <laughs> he's just like, yeah, can't do it. So he he's just like, out. can't do it. <laughs> he's so uh, exasperated. It's amazing. It's I gotta so say, funny. it's very pleasant not having him be part of the zeitgeist anymore. He'd be, uh, oh, definitely. Not that, not that his replacements are better. They're, in some ways, they're actually worse. But, uh, man, he's like, he stinks. Just a few seconds left. I answered that poorly, but whatever. Sometimes it, they just pop into your head, and sometimes you gotta think. I'm ready if you are. Wait for it. Three things you must do to survive a bear attack. <laughs> oh, okay, everybody. pretty good. Your favorite quip. Pretty good. Pick your favorite. Remember to pick your favorite. What's the next game? Well, the next Don't game will be. Favorite. Yeah, I better not be stick fight because I give up on that one. You know, I enjoy your playing favorite. it. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a next? tutoring session. Yeah, we gotta oh, figure out how to. Aristotle. Yeah, you got me on that one. That was pretty much better because I thought that mine was. Yeah, I didn't really. It was hard. That was a tough one for me. I don't know why. Sometimes they're easier hey, than others. Yeah. I'm, I want to. Uh, I want to feel bad. I'm about sorry. Today. I want to. I want to apologize about it. <laughs> Please apologize about being. Yeah, exactly. Hold on, Jen. Those were those were very well put out. I want. I, I, I feel like they didn't yeah. recognize enough. Those were great names. Thanks. Yes. <laughs> There was effort. Your mom's a There was, there was, <laughs> haha, a forethought. Mm -hmm. There's a shovel. <laughs> Jen is just the the yes. champion, and there's no matter what happens, is. Jen is gonna be the champion again, and she's wearing the crown over there. You can see the John Stamos deaf is wearing the Jen crown. It's sparkly. It's shiny. It's got diamonds. It's got rubies. It's also got pearls. It's also got rubies in it. And it, it, John Stamos deaf is wearing it, flaunting it, and is this Will's crown is on top. It's a hat. On a hat. If there's anything I've seen about the show, it th is that it's a hat on a hat. All right, we're gonna play one more round because why not? You know how Rocky says, "One more round." All right, Zico, you can join. It's not how many times you get knocked down; it's how many times you play Jackbox, is what Rocky said. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think. I mean, it's been a while <laughs> since I saw those movies. I think that he he used a Jackbox. Do you have Champed Up? Is Champed Up a game? Yeah, that's other games. We just oh. play Quiplash every week. I know, we love Quiplash over here. We did play another <laughs> game last time. We can have a vote. We played one one time and it wasn't fun, so then we just never played something different. <laughs> yeah, it was like, it took us two games to figure out what we were doing at that time. But this is always fun. This always seems to be the one that we can giggle at. Oh yeah, I forgot this one. You do it to yourself. You do it. I like that one. That's like when in when we're playing stick fight and you blow yourself. Yeah. You took my star. Oh, someone took the star. My lucky star. I guess I'm the have to be all poop. spark. The all spark. I need more optimism. In primes. the beginning, there was the all spark. I <laughs> so remember when that when I saw that in the theater, I was like, yes, real Optimus Prime voice. <laughs> and then that was popped. And then like literally the entire franchise went downhill from that first minute. As soon as I listened to what he was saying, I was like, oh, no. Oh, God, no. God, no. Yeah. <laughs> as, as a devotee of the original stuff and being like, what? I never heard of no All Spark. What are they doing? It's so, so it's so dumb. They, they just could have stuck to the regular lore. Hey, looks like Wesley, Jen. Uh, Jen, next I week I might have to bet. Wesley, there's one more slot and it has your name on it if your name is Join. Exclamation point. Join Wesley. <laughs> Join us. Join. I think that is his name. 
Wesley, I'm, I'm looking at you. I'm going to wait 30 more seconds. You need to join. This is not pressure. This is not peer pressure. This is a, a pe pressure from an adult. <laughs> <laughs> This is, it does not. this is superior pressure. Yeah, this is superior pressure. This is pressure from the uh, the adults speaking here. Uh, well, Wesley, it is your option to join in the next 20 seconds. Otherwise, I'll say everyone's in. Um, what do you have plans for... Uh, does anybody have any real, actual human plans in the future? <laughs> I don't think so. Like travel or something? Just anything. <laughs> I would yeah, like to live like vicariously. The, like the one thing I'm looking forward to is in July we rented a house on a lake about 20 minutes from here. Wow. That's so cool. it's going to be sweet. So it's cool because we're not committed to being away from our home for a month. It's like we can come home whenever we need to and it's super, it's just really easy. Yeah. Uh, so like Beth can get some nights to herself, like totally by herself, and like we can go kayaking and we'll do some barbecue and stuff. It'll be great. That's awesome. That's just, like the only thing. Yeah, it's a house. So it's not like we're you know the, the traveling is all the travel we already do already. It's just really like a safe, not far away, but far enough away to get to get the feeling. Nothing. Kind of so yeah. that's what we're planning to do. And then the boys are doing some camps. Um, oh. That's cool. That's about all we got planned. And then the rest, the rest is just like repairing stuff around the house or whatever. Yeah. Homeowners. Like, I have, gotta... to get in the Jeep. And I have to get a new AC in the Jeep. So like 1500 bucks. Oh, wow. That is. It's always these. The car expenses are the worst. They just pop up and they're like, oh, yeah. Magically. Yeah, when I got car repairs, it was like, that will cost you one economic relief check, please. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Oh, look it, we got a full house here on the last game of Quiplash, and we're going to see who the winner is, so remember to answer your questions uh, most hilariously. That's an answer for sure. There sure is an answer. So guys, if you want to play along and watch on the Discord in real time, you can join my Twitch. You can subscribe to Twitch for $3 a month or pledge at least $1 a month on Patreon. That gives you access to the Discord. So you can join and watch it live and be like 20 seconds ahead. Or perfectly not 20 seconds behind. How about that? Cash me outside. How about that? <laughs> I like these. Yes. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Even though we generally, I forgot how to lay down the rules. It's generally PG-13, but you're allowed one of those. <laughs> you're allowed one. Oh! Ah, I, try, I tried to vote! Jen. Jen, that was a solid attack. It's really outrageous. <laughs> I tried. Yes, that That's was the one I was... Champion. That was the one I had my mouse hovering over and did not click. So consider those points yours. Ah. That's pretty funny. Rorschach. Remember, you can join the audience. Just put that code in at jackbox.tp. One more, Zico. Zico, you got it. Look at you, Zico. Good job. 
a fairy tale that never caught on. Blank and the Beast. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, choose your favorite. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> we got an audience vote. Let's see who it is. Oh, I got zero. Oh, I got zero likes on that one. <laughs> Stop the quips. I got totally zapped. You should get a, you should get a point for that. I should get a point for getting zero points. <laughs> that's that's not how games work. Uh oh. You gotta tear me apart, Lisa. Here's some points. I need to get you, uh, Tracy Morgan, saying, "I skate. Look at me skateboard." <laughs> that is a good one. Yes. I almost tried to make mashed potatoes with laundry detergent. <laughs> and now, pick your favorite. Hmm. You gotta go with your hind brain on all these answers. Just like whatever, whatever tickles the the funny button. You know. Yeah, the funny button's just in the hind brain. Yeah, the hind brain is what we call it. The B, that's the brain inside your butt, right? That's the butt brain. That is, that is, that is the hind, the hind. That's the hind brain. Yeah, the hind brain for the, the hind legs. The hiney brain. Okay. Yes, exactly. The high knee brain is up on the lower leg and the upper leg. In the front. All right. Curses. Fiddle faddle piddle paddle. I like that one. I like that one better. <laughs> but oh, I just thank you, Jen. Listen, <laughs> curses on you. Curses. Next one up. That is a good a response. This player looks like if you squint Ooh. a little. They need credits. Oh. You got to oh, me apart, Lisa. Bye, Lee. That's, Lisa, who my friend, that's who my friend thought you looked like. Not Lenny Kravitz. You got a new uh, doppelganger. Every five years, I got a new one. It was Richard Iowade. Who's, like, who's your one now? Who's your one now? I don't know who the, It was Richard Iowade for a minute, and now it's that's probably a good one. someone. Yeah. It was. Uh, that guy, I've been, I've, been, I've been compared to that guy before. I don't know. He's the voice of. Oh, uh, I didn't answer. I didn't. Sorry, I didn't answer. Thank you, Nevin. Either I was distracted. Cosmo <laughs> McBuds. There were long, there were long answers, and I was thinking about the conversation. This, this is a hard game to converse over. It really this is. This is not like Fortnite. <laughs> That's why we're oh, the most Fortnite, Fortnite conversation is: What am I doing? How do I change weapons? What am I doing? How do I do this? <laughs> I know. I'm just like I'm stuck in building mode again. How do I get out of building mode? Stop the quips. Start the quips. Good job. Two takes no prisoners. Double the points, double the anxiety. Lion Kitty is now playing scavengers. I can see. <laughs> I wonder what that is. We've got one in the audience. Uh. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> This is dumb. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, we will be playing subsequently on Jen the Fierce's feed, her her live stream tonight. We'll be playing right after this, right after these messages. We are going to play Fortnite. I will play all of the Fortnites. I will shoot guns, and I will have fun. I'm going to get a gigantically large television. It's going to be silly. And I'm going to have watch parties. Dude, just do it. Yeah. That's I what I it. thought. 
The guy showed me an 85 inch TV and it was like for 1500 and I was like, that's about twice as much as I set out to spend, but that's yeah. usually what happens. But uh, yeah. Here's the thing. I don't know that you, you might be able to get it. Here's the thing. Here's your first prompt. What an extremely nice bouncer says when throwing people Hold that thought. Bars. Yeah. <laughs> It is funny because they, they, I go in there. I'm like, I would like to spend, you know. He's like, Well, I got this TV. It's 5.29 and it's, it's 65 inches and blah blah blah. And I'm like, oh, Okay. And he's like, But you know, if you want something a little bit better, they got this one at 700. And, oh, but you know, if you go up a little bit higher, you get you get the one that's 980 and you get this, this 85 inches. But you know, if you're gonna go out a little bit outside your budget, there's this one that's 1200. And then before you know, it's 1500 dollars. <laughs> <laughs> You're like you went from five twenty nine. I don't know. I don't know, the, I, don't know the ra I don't know what the ranges are now, but for you, the most important thing is. Oh man, come on! I'm so proud of that one. Is the true blacks? I like true black. That's what the doll says. Yeah. Try uh, Warzona. Um, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say the, uh, the, the the bells and whistles don't matter for you, right? You just need the clearest, best picture. Like nothing, yes. Literally nothing because like you, you're gonna run your computer through it probably anyway. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Hold on. Stop pulling the quips. The, uh, <laughs> who's the emoji person? That's great. They got me. They got me. That was an inside baseball. Stop all the downloading. That was great. I enjoyed that. Friends episode titled "The One Where Blank." Oh. You have to tear me apart, Lisa. <laughs> we play that episode. It was a good episode. Next on the docket, this player mm. met a blank they didn't like. Ooh, stop all the quips. Stop <laughs> all the downloading. <laughs> Zico. Next we have What's TABG? <laughs> the uh, against the big background. They are both good BR as well. I don't know. Wesley Plotke, you're speaking in a code that I cannot decipher. I do not have my decoder ring on me. Try Warzone of TA. He's speaking young. I don't know. Yeah. And that is very pog of you, Wesley. Oh, short. I was too slow. Cosmo McBuds. Oh, Ollie. At the audience vote. Thank you, Ollie. audience. Ollie's an audience Ollie favorite. Knows what's up. Next up. Honest Ooh. theme for a valedictorian speech. Oh, that's a good one. Ah, oh, man. Is there several? Is there several? <laughs> oh, I meant to push. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. Every <laughs> Sorry, Lisa. In your absence, we are shouting. Getting a flu shot. Oh. Here's the yeah, that's part. a good one. Pick your favorite quip. It's an interesting. It's an interesting one. Battle Royale, totally accurate battlegrounds. Totally accurate battlegrounds. Thank you for the TABG deciphering. I, uh. Listen, I don't know much about kids, but I know about. Oh, whiskey. he's trying to tell us different games to play instead of Fortnite. That's what he's saying. It's ah! He's trying <laughs> yeah. to get us to not play Fortnite. <laughs> Whis Wesley. I almost called him Whiskey. <laughs> whiskey. 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 Jen! Whiskey. Cannot be beaten! She is a she is a champion. She's a champion. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Poop joke one, poop joke two, poop joke three. They vary up the instructions. They do, they do. I think that keeps it interesting. Look at this full house of people who there are two missing. Okay. Uh, hmm. Jinx it. Ooh. What a right thing. Uh, this was... Jen, I'm just going to hand you the crown as we see that you are well in the lead um. with, with your quip. You're, if this was the 1960s, you'd be a quippy. 
I don't know what that means. It means nothing. <laughs> but you say words, and that's the most important thing, is to say words with no meaning. All right, guys. What a fun game this is. I like the animation, actually. It's kind of like a claymation type of California Raisins vibe. California Raisins were a very popular advertisement that turned into a very terrible, unpopular show. Also, probably very difficult to produce because it takes a long time to do, an do stop motion animation. Okay, the writing phase is in the books. Just made it. <laughs> Just made it. Okay. Lisa, cool. can, can we toss them from the game? Or no? I don't think we can. Oh, no. The three Maybe. Hell the computer. Summer. It depends on who's in charge. Who we'll put their name in first? Help computer. Hmm. <laughs> Do you have that possibility as the game host? Hobbies, I don't hobbies. think I'm the game host. I don't, am I? I mean, you have the Jackbox running. Is there several? Does yeah, that make any difference? Um. No, I don't have any options. <laughs> that checks out. <laughs> yeah. That one no seems, options. That seems legit. It's a pretty limited menu. That one pretty much just seems pretty legit. <laughs> that is. It's legit in its illegitimacy. That is legit illegit. Good oh, one. Yeah. Checks out. The oil spark. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta work on my Octopus Prime. There's probably a vocoder for that. It doesn't have for that. Peter Cullen is a human vocoder. He's amazing. His voice is just incredible. I even like when he does... What is, what's his name? The other guy. <laughs> Cliff Jumper. That's again. Uh, Casey Kasem. Casey Kasem. That guy... That dude... Oh, he, he's like a he's like a thing around here. He's, he's I think he's from Michigan. Uh, he he's might be. Like yeah, a, yeah. Like a, yeah, I think he's like a my my, my stepfather-in-law like talks about him in like esteemed terms. Like he's a like a legend. I mean, I, I, he's, uh, he's a legend, but like he's even more. Like, with Bob Seger is like a Michigan thing. There's a really funny outtake of Casey Kasem like cursing and then going right into the top ten as if nothing happened. So he's like, God <laughs> darn it. He's like saying all the curse words. And then he's just like, he's angry. He's like, what is who's doing us? And then he's just like, oh, this week on the five, top five. <laughs> he just goes and disappears. Ooh. I like that. Something made me laugh inside. My favorite response is... Oh, Jen, did you just get oh. waxed? Are you going to lose the oh. game? Oh, you got super oh. Oh. <laughs> Jen, what happened? Devastating. Devastating. Devastation. Devastation. No. <laughs> but Jen, will you be the winner? Oh, you're getting stop the quips. Just one. That was, that was oh, the Oh, stop the quips. Stop the quips. That was a good challenge. Last, that, last, uh, that last match was the deciding one. That was the deciding one. And I think it was, uh, I think Jen won. <laughs> won most of, again, Jen, you won two games, right? I think so. It's okay, though. Is there several? You did good, quip person. Quip. Stop the quips. No one could beat you this time. You were the most hilarious in this round of the third round of the third, fourth round of Quiplash today, <laughs> which was amazing. Your, your technological prowess in typing in funnier things than everyone else was unparalleled. Also, I'm feeling generous, so I'm going to drop the invite to the Discord into the chat right now. For everybody who played, you could join the Discord now and hang out with us and talk with us uh, off the air, which is always fun. And right after this show... We're going to play some Fortnite. If you go to Jen Fierce, Jen Fierce is joining me right here on the audio. Also, our friend OCW5000. Oliver, thank you for being here. Also, hello. You know, hello. We're going to play some games. We're going to play some Fortnite on Jen the Fierce. So follow Jen the Fierce. And also, follow me. I appreciate it. Oh my god, I was ahead of Jen. Wesley, which one were you? Which you one was try it, Which one was Wesley? I have no idea. Is there several? I don't know. Who were you? Yeah. Who, 
Who are you, Wesley? But you can join the Discord that way. Please click on the Discord and join and hang out with us. But immediately following this program, which is now-ish, we're going to go over to Jen, the fierce... Uh, how long do you need, Jen? Do you need, like, ten minutes or so, or no minutes, or...? No, I'm just going to... I'll go over and start. Okay. So maybe I'll just raid okay. your... I'll just raid your channel, or no? Okay. Part? Bye. <laughs> okay, see, I'll see, you see ya. I'll see you over at your channel. Okay. That's how these things work. It's fun. Ah! Oh, there's so many things happening right now. Let me switch over to this and do the outro. Hello, hello, hello. This is kind of funny. You're still sharing your screen with Discord, by the way. I know. Thank you, Phil. Thank you for. I'm interested to see moment. you. Uh, it's interesting to watch you work, though. There's so many buttons. Like, I could do this, so I could go over to here, and I could be Thor. i got to click on this, and then I've got to You know what you need the... to do, man? What's up? You need to have, like, a separate keyboard that just controls all exactly. the buttonry. I pedal literally... Pedal. You, need the, you need the keyboard pedal pad. That's exactly what I was trying to do. I had a, this. I have three other keyboards, <laughs> and I don't know how to reassign it. I think I have to go into the, the, the keyboard settings and then just individually assign each hotkey to the keys. Yeah, but you'd have to set it up as a separate keyboard. Like, could you run it and your regular keyboard at the same time? There's got to be something that does that. There's got to be. I saw that Someone has thought of this. Quantum entanglement of thoughts. Someone's already thought of that and made it. We just got to find it. Yes, because there's um, there are keyboards for editing where it's just an entirely separate keyboard and all of the keys are just actual functions. So you just look at them and they it just has all the little functions on each key. Yeah. So you just... Um, but, but then you but, just memorize like piano keys, though. You memorize exactly. It. Well, that's it's essentially how I've I've been doing um, this thing. Yeah. Well, you know that's just like uh, your opinion, man. <laughs> Which is always fun. All right, we're gonna play. I think this is my favorite movie ever made. We talk about it later. It is a great movie. We, Ollie, I would like to talk the to you about the like, dialogue is impeccable. It, you cannot peck that dialogue. It's, it's you cannot. <laughs> the, the the it's just a, an amazing romp in movie land and it can only exist in movie land or it just there's so many things about the big lebowski that make it a lebowski which is a term that i'm trying to coin real hard that it's a type of movie where it's got so many memorable scenes in it that it's incredible that it comes from the same movie and the big lebowski is the ah. perfect example and the most uh, prolific, I think, at that because you could go, "Hey, remember this scene from The Big Lebowski?" And you're like, "Yeah." And yeah. also, this scene is in that. And also, this scene when is we, in that. When we played Baton Rouge, I had an entire conversation with like I don't know, like the other band's manager or like a radio. Or no, she like worked at a like a punk rock magazine or something in town. And we had an entire conversation while a band was playing, like writing lines from The Big Lebowski back and forth on her business card. All day, like, and having a conversation. It was like it was like twenty lines long, back and forth, like because the band was like we couldn't hear each other. But it's like it's, it's that rich with no, uh, memorable dialogue. The only other thing that's like that is uh, Arrested Development. Arrested Development, Pulp Fiction. Like, yeah, there's so many like there are there are very few Lebowskis, relatively speaking. I think they come around once every five or ten years. A Lebowski yeah. of a film, and like, uh, that's. They are the Haley's comment. They are the hail bop comment. Comment. <laughs> hail bop. Da, 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 da. That someone has to have done that because those are almost contemporary. Yeah. contemporary it's impossible okay. to not have. Alia, this is a new thing I'm going to do on the weekends. I think I've been doing music on the weekends, but now I'm like trying to up the challenge. You're shave your I'm neck. I'm going to shave that. my entire neck, all the way up to my nose hairs, and I'm going to see if anybody notices. Also, my mother-in-law asked if I uh, was growing a beard. I'm like, no, I'm just lazy. And just said, <laughs> yes. Lazy. Some people ask me, "Are you growing a beard?" I'm like, no, I'm just not shaving. <laughs> That's not. A, I'm not doing that. I'm actively not doing something. That's exactly the best way to grow a beard is to just not shave for a long time. It's I, very effective. I, but there is on the weekends. That's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to start to create. I'm going to try to do remixes. I'm going to try to take totally disparate things and make them one so for instance uh, uh i think chris said something today about mudvayne and stained but they're not two 
far apart in the realm of craziness. But I, I feel like if you just shout out a thing, I'll try to find the stems and try to... Because I saw some guy, I think Chris shared it a while ago, it was just a, a guy putting together an entire song of just Michael Jackson's mouth sounds. So like all that... <laughs> I, I did not see that. Well, dude, I understand exactly what you're saying. Yeah. So I, I once submitted. I once submitted in junior year of music class. I once submitted a song. Well, I'll, I'll censor it. It was called. It was called the F word song, and it was. I recorded myself saying the F word in six different ways, and then I tracked it. So there was like a bass line of like a beat, and then like some sort of melody, kind of like video game music with like saw wave type type uh, tracks, and I submitted that. Uh, for like for assignment for like a like a wasn't a final it was like a midterm. That's cool. And right before I left for it was right before Thanksgiving, and I was like, just like check my email one last time because you didn't have cell phones back then. Check my email one last time before I like drove home. It was like a three-hour drive, and the last email I got was from the music teacher saying, "I'm completely utter, utterly shocked right now." I was like, "Uh, <laughs> might be getting another F word on that assignment." Um, but it turned out she totally was down with it. It was exactly what you're saying. It's like, yeah, uh, it just like it, it, the, the word lost all meaning because it was just a sound and like different. Right. It was just creating like sound, basically like a vocal song. Well, that's cool. Oh, the assignment that's was nice. to do a vocal song, and most people just sang because they were good singers, and I was insecure about my singing voice, so I did that instead. Well, that's the thing. I think it's really important and shows the musicianship if you could take sort of any sound or any piece of um, audio and and s- turn it into something musical it's turning into something more than it what what it started out as and that's i will i listen to a song exploder a lot and i was listening to one with with nine inch nails the two guys trent reznor and i can never remember the other dude's name for some atticus reason ross. atticus ross atticus like atticus finch atticus ross so Atticus Ross, the two of them would come upon songs just from because they would they toil. They're such artists. Uh, the two of them, they, they spend so they, much they, time. They dig each other. They dig each other, and they they work. They're really good pairing. I love that Night Inch Nails went from a solo act, essentially being just Trent Reznor, to a duo about eight years ago because they started to work together yeah. on soundtracks. It's Great. weird that a solo act under the name turns into a duo under the same name. It's it's pretty cool. And it's usually the, re- the reverse or something. Uh, but the, t- the two of them just come upon sounds and come upon clips and, and they toil and toil and build and build and build and strip away and continue to do this process until they're satisfied. And a lot of times they just to- they toss out most of the stuff, you know, which is probably a lot of artists' process is just to like con- continually just kill your darlings, toss things out, strip away. And uh, it's all about creation and destruction, really. So eventually, you can purify and distill the idea in its best form, or the form that it is currently, which is all art is. Art is the the choice of abandonment. We've talked about this. It's when you decide to walk away. It's never finished. It's just when you decide to abandon it. Speaking of, we're going to end the show now. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> We're going to walk away. And, uh, Ollie, you going to play Fortnite with us? Play Fortnite with us, please. Yeah, I should get, I should get the Switch. You should oh, get out the Switch. I just got a message. My battery's low on my headset. I should probably uh, charge it up. Charge it. Go um, charge this right, go. So I, I'll go to, you, are you going to rate it? And I'll... Well, I'm not even... In, I don't think I'm in your Twitch. Hold on. I just rated. it. Uh, okay. We just rated Jen the Fierce. And, uh, yeah, so you can hop over to Jen, Jen the Fierce's Discord and then... Oh will be on her voice channel so guys i'll see you there i think we're done here <laughs> i think that's it i think we're technically right, I'll, meet, I'll meet you guys i'll meet you guys in a little bit i'll see you in a, in a few i'll see you in two and two yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i understood that reference <laughs> exactly also ollie um i understood that reference yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right bye guys